Fire is a really important and natural part of the Australian environment, so it's really important that when we're planning our prescribed burn program, we take into account the ecological needs of the, the flora and the fauna in those areas. We do that in a number of ways. Firstly, we sit around with the, um, the relevant ranges um, and ecologists from the region to work out what threatened species or issues there might be in a planned prescribed burn area and, and determine whether or not that area is suitable for burning or not from an ecological perspective. There are a, quite a number of ways that we can alter the way in which we undertake a burn to help improve the, the environmental outcomes and minimise any potential negative impacts. For example, we might change the season of a burn to one that's more appropriate. We might exclude a small area if there's a particular threatened species that we're concerned about in that area. It might be that we um, undertake important hygiene so that we're not carrying weeds into an area or um, plant diseases into uninfected areas. Um, and another important thing is we might undertake uh, protection of trees to ensure that large important habitat trees such as hollow bearing trees are not impacted. We also undertake weed management. Many of the areas that we burn um, unfortunately are degraded by weeds and some of those weeds respond um, very well to the fire and so we then need to go in afterwards and undertake weed control to ensure that the, the area doesn't get worse in its um, habitat quality and, and preferably actually improves. Many of our plants and animals respond really well to fire. Many animals survive our burns really well by seeking refuge in logs in the ground or in, in hollows or in little unburnt patches. And we need to undertake burning not just so that we are trying to manage fuels to reduce the bushfire risk, but also that, so that we are creating habitats um, for those animals that may not otherwise exist.